வெல்கம் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இப்போ இந்த பார்ட்டில் நம்ம வந்து இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் மேத்தமேட்டிக்ஸ் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ரெக்வைர்ட் ஃபார் தி கூலம்ஸ் லா ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் அதை நம்ம பார்த்துடுறோம் இதில் வந்து ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி அபவுட் தி வெக்டர்ஸ் நம்ம பார்க்க வேண்டியது இருக்குது ஓகேயா கவனி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் திங் நம்ம ரெசல்யூஷன் ஆஃப் ஜமான்ட்டல் அப்போ அமாஸ் இஸ் ஹியர் திஸ் ஃபோர்ஸ் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி गिविंग அ டிஸ்ப்ளேஸ்மென்ட் இனிஷியல் பொசிஷன் ஏ ஃபைனல் பொசிஷன் பி த டிஸ்ப்ளேஸ்மென்ட் இஸ் டி வர்க் டன் இஸ் எஃப் இன்டு டி வி நோ இப்போ இந்த மாஸ் இங்க இருக்கும்போது ஃபோர்ஸ் இப்படி ஆக்ட் ஆக்ட் பண்ணா த வர்க் டன் இஸ் ஜீரோ இப்போ இந்த மாஸ் இங்க இருக்கும்போது ஃபோர்ஸ் இப்படி ஆக்ட் பண்ணா திஸ் இஸ் மூவிங் and the work is done a in the b both the work done is not zero and it is not f into d uh, we know this vector part of the vector is doing the work and there are two parts of it one is the horizontal component the other one is the vertical component you know the vertical component will not do any work and the horizontal component will do the work therefore in the vector namma idu theta bina we have to resolve the horizontal component to find the work done so work done there is fx into d okay and the fx evaladu abina ninga sin theta cos theta eduna puriyum sin theta enbadu opposite side by hypotenuse appa fy apdiingiradhu vande f sin theta If you write cos theta, you know cos theta is the adjacent side by hypotenuse. Therefore, fx is equal to f cos theta. Therefore, the work done is f d cos theta. You understand? And this is written as f vector dot d vector. Okay. So, the solution of a vector. What a vector is it? It's a force. We resolve it into two components. one is the horizontal component the other one is the vertical component so ipo the part of the force which is acting along the x axis apdiingra the kandupidikano apdina nama cos theta apdiingra the ponu cos theta is the adjacent side by the hypotenuse so you know the horizontal component is f cos theta is it okay then opposite side is this so sin theta is fy by f so the vertical component is f sin theta okay okay this is one thing we should know the resolution of a vector then another thing what we should learn now is the resultant of two vectors the resultant of two vectors okay let's see this also okay ipo oru chart irukku and the chart vandha na ipdi put cheyikiren appa a kuda sendi innor tharu ilukkararu appadina both the forces are in the same direction appa oru possibility oru force ipdi act panudhu that is one vector q vector the other vector q vector they are acting in the same direction they are parallel they are in the same direction. the angle between the two vectors is 0 degrees what will be the resultant resultant is first if you draw this vector what is that p and you have drawn this vector and where you end you end here and attach this second vector that is q vector so starting point is this 
A, B, and you attach the C here, C, D, and A to D, that is your resultant. The resultant is actually equal to the sum of the two vectors, and it is a bigger one, okay, resultant, which is equal to B plus Q. So, the chair, I'll not be push point, right? You know, the hour push point, right? Upon the chair, my lawyer, put a motor force over there, you know, B plus Q. Okay, on the case, if the force is given by me, is this, but the other person gives force in the opposite direction. My pre push point, right? I will end up on the push point. Upper resultant, you know, I'll be not bigger one minus smaller one. You know, say, no, first you draw this. Okay, A, B, or that G. Keep on the C. D in the bottom. Oh, it comes here. Up on. You want to draw for one? Yes. I will draw for one. Up on. Three be one. You want to draw three be one. In here, in here. Up on. Again, in point in here. Okay. Up on the vector resultant. Up in here. In here, in here. That is the resultant. Okay. Up on. P minus Q. Bigger one minus smaller one is the resultant. That resultant is given by the formula. P minus Q. You understand this? Right. If, if the two vectors are perpendicular, okay, my pre push point ray, our end of the push point ray, don't check the two vectors are acting perpendicular, upper resultant in a, the third possibility. This is P vector and this is Q vector. They are actually perpendicular. So, I know what In the A being a vector for no. Then other body like that will have in the CDA going to the attach one. So now inga proper hai, inga proper hai, inga koi se hai, inga koi se hai. Apa adha resultant. So in the resultant A B apni ke the inga ni prepare kete. The direction of this is tan alpha is equal to Q by P. I am inga mara kete. What is the magnitude of that? The magnitude is root of p square plus q square. That is a basic Pythagoras theorem. You understand this? Now I am coming to the next step. Uh, child, here the angle is not, here the angle is zero. Here the angle is 180 degrees. Angle between the vectors is 180. Here the angle between the vectors is 90 degrees. But now, one vector in the p vector, in our vector q vector is equal to the angle between the two is theta. If I say no, abena as usual to find the resultant. Let us write this. Okay, this a b. Okay, and this c d. You start from here. So you are starting from here, and you end up here, and this is the result. Okay, a triangle law, I mean, so to go the, uh, the third side taken in the opposite direction gives the resultant of the first two vectors. If the parallelogram law, I mean, so to go the, you complete this parallelogram. If A code in your know, if A code in your know, now you get the parallelogram. If the P vector or not, the Q vector. If a resultant take this here, in here, in here, in the result. In the result of the value of the value of the the angle between the two vectors is theta. If an air are bearing to the man, in the angle theta. In your vertical number, what it is. Either in the component of the picture. In the Q or in the component of the picture, at the same side, you can have a resolution of vectors for the picture. This is Q cos theta. And the opposite side of the Q sin theta. Right? I use this color if this is not visible. Q cos theta and this is Q sin theta opposite side. If you right angle triangle will come in three on this this one, this one is a right angle triangle. In the right angle triangle of the Pythagoras theorem, apply one of P plus Q sin theta. It is A B in a C one plan B one plan. So look at this triangle A C D. It is P plus Q cos theta other one side. Square plus in the inner side q sine theta other than square sum of the squares of the sides is the square of the hypotenuse. Okay, you get this. 
ఇదే పర్సన్ టేక్ ఇట్ మాట్లాడ ద మ్యాగ్నెట్ ఫోర్ ద రిసల్టెంట్ ఇస్ గివెన్ బై ద పారాగ్రామ్ లా లైక్ దిస్ r స్క్వేర్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఇది a స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ 2 a b అండ్ b స్క్వేర్ and then here we have got the q square sin square theta component therefore this is p square this is 2 pq cos theta and here you can take out q square common cos square plus sin square is 1 therefore the resultant is given by this formula p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta you understand okay let us summarize whatever we have this case. so far okay now my another issue is this number 1 resolution is f abina is theta abinode this is f cos theta and this is f sin theta abina this another issue is this is p vector is q vector resultant same direction agadnala p plus q is p vector is a q vector the resultant is p minus q per se is another thing is a p vector is a perpendicular arc is a q vector resultant root of p square plus q square and then finally this is p vector and this is q vector rendu kind of angle theta appo the resultant is given by the diagonal of the parallelogram and formula for that is r is equal to root of p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta now some special cases namai illa paapom shortcut is very useful for you two forces equal are two degree 60 degree appo what is the resultant abina resultant is equal to f square p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta okay in the resultant square so resultant evlo varudhu f square f square 2 f square cos 61 by 2 2 is cancelled appa 3 f square appa resultant is equal to f into root 3 so you should know this and the f into root 3 abinga the padathula irukku appina you complete this parallelogram and this one is actually f into இதை விட அது பெருசா இருக்கு ரூட் த்ரீங்கிறது ஒன் பாயிண்ட் செவன் த்ரீ டூ டைம்ஸ் திஸ் வில் பி மல்டிபிளை அண்ட் சிமிலர்லி நெக்ஸ்ட் கேஸ் இஃப் த வெக்டர்ஸ் ஆர் ஈக்குவல் அண்ட் ஆங்கிள் பெண்டிங் த வெக்டர்ஸ் இஸ் நைன்டி டிகிரிஸ் ஹியர் இட் இஸ் சிக்ஸ்டி டிகிரிஸ் ஹியர் இட் இஸ் நைன்டி டிகிரிஸ் தட் வில் வாண்ட் டு ஹேப்பன் த ரிசல்டன் ஸ்கொயர் ஈக்குவல் டு எஃப் ஸ்கொயர் பிளஸ் எஃப் ஸ்கொயர் plus 2 p q cos theta cos 90 is 0 therefore it will become f square plus x square plus 0 this is 2 f square therefore the resultant is f into root 2 okay is one thing the square of the diagonal of the theta okay if theta is 120 degrees it will force f it will force f now the 120 degrees then what will happen at the end r square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2 p q cos theta cos 120 is minus 1 by 2 so this is f square plus f square plus 2 f square minus 1 by 2 this is cancelled plus f square minus f square is also cancelled therefore resultant is equal to f okay about 120 degrees is composed in n is the one the rhombus is the one there in the diagonal of the equal to this side of the other than 120 degrees in China the resultant is also equal to EF so these are all the shortcuts you should learn all these shortcuts before getting into the problems of Coulomb's law thank you